Welcome to Bahia. This is considered the cultural heart of Brazil and the fourth largest state located in the northern part of the country. Today we're in Salvador, the capital of Bahia, located along the coast and noted for its African and European heritage. We're going to try the region's exquisite cuisine, meet the friendly locals, and explore the historic center of Pelourinho, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Let's go check it out. Our guide's name is Luigi, and our first stop is to hit up some of the most beautiful vistas overlooking Bahia's pristine beaches. Bom dia, o Chimbam Bambam da Alegria, hoje com nossos amigos americanos e... Axé! No Axé! Vai mandar um... Axé! Welcome to Salvador, Brazil! Bem-vindo a Salvador! Viva Brasil! Hey guys, we are on a tour today with Latin Escapes and we're here in Salvador de Bahia. And our guide is from Italy, he's from Naples, so he speaks Italiano and Portuguese and Spanish. So far the landscape here reminds us a little bit of Hawaii because it's very city-fied, similar to Waikiki, very humid, much more humid than Rio. Tons of skyscrapers. Tome tres años de español en la escuela secundaria. Si pronuncio mal algo, por favor, corréjame. Estamos en Salvador de Bahía y mira el arte. Salvador was the first colonial capital of Brazil, and the city is one of the oldest in the New World, founded by the Portuguese settlers in 1549. Now we check out tile work that represents the Portuguese arrival to this region. Este es similares de azulejos. We are heading to the lighthouse now. There is a fiesta here for the Copa Games. Brazil just played last night. Oh, Salvador. Salvador da Bahia, Salvador. Brazil. You know that you're in Bahia when you see these. These are good luck. But they have to be given to you for it to be good luck. Look at this view, Mira la Vista. We have all of these good luck charms and they're so colorful. Here you can see the viewing party that they had for the Copa Games. We made it to the historic center here in Salvador de Bahia. This is a neoclassical building. We are now inside the palace. Look at this place. It's got marble. Look at this beautiful yellow color. It's so gorgeous here. The Rio Branco Palace is the former seat of the government in Salvador. It's one of the oldest palaces in Brazil and dates back to 1549. See the entire harbor from up here. Look how high up we are. Look at this beautiful palace. Look at these hardwood floors. They're all original. This is such a freaking We love it. This is telling the chronological history of Bahia and how it started as a Portuguese capital of the Americas and then military dictatorship and then re-democratization. El edificio amarillo es neoclásico. During our visit in June, the temperature was in the high 80s, so time to get some gelato at a local cafe called Tropicalia. We have jackfruit, tamarind, 
passion fruit, tapioca, acai, tropical ginger, lemongrass. Oh my god. I just got the tamarind in the lemongrass flavored ice cream from this really cool little cafe right here. Water in a shot glass. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying the lemongrass. Oh my god, it's so good. It's spicy. We have all the different types of Brazilian coffees here. Brazilian fruits. We have cassasha. Caipirinha. Era el arte de la calle. Salvador is divided into two sections, the historic upper city and the lower city, located along the waterfront. Oh, this is so cool. This is the train that goes down to the southern part of the city, and it was built in the 1880s. These are the typical foods of Bahia. This one has onions inside. Getting photos. <laughs> Cooking some street food here. Look at all the colors, yellow, blue, green, light blue. So beautiful. So much activity here on the streets, a lot of little shops and food stalls. Bienvindo! Yeah. 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 Buena suerte! This is for Carnival. We just stopped in this traditional store to get one of the drinks of the region called Kukabin. Vamos a probar. How does it taste? Fuerte. Like cerveza? Pero deliciosa. Uh, we're in a very busy square here with a lot of beautiful colonial buildings. And behind me is the university. And then on this side, they are doing capoeira, famous kind of martial arts dance. Really, really cool to watch. This is a famous dance that originated in Angola. Very beautiful. 12 noon, so the bells are ringing from the church. This is the center square, El Centro. Capoeira is mesmerizing. This is an Afro-Brazilian martial art that combines elements of dance, acrobatics, and music. It was developed by enslaved Africans in Brazil at the beginning of the 16th century. It's known for its acrobatic and complex maneuvers, often involving hands on the ground and inverted kicks. It's so colorful. Look at all this art. 
capoeira. Walking through Bahia right now, and there's so many colorful stores, so much art, so much music. It's like a non stop photo shoot. Speaking of photo shoots, Mr. Siempre Silvestre. Hola! Jaime Mu Figure, your name. Mucho gusto. Jaime Figure. Es un pintor. Es que yo tengo un hombre de rock. Panda rock. Fast rock and roll. Y, oh, ok. Y faço obra de arte, cabeza de oro y chasis. Y ferro. Escondido. Ah, ok. Oh. Esta aquí mismo es la cabeza de eso. Jaime was featured in the Anthony Bourdain Bahia episode in Where's This Costume for Protection and Protest. Here, though, one man stands alone. Jaime Figura, a poet, sculptor, painter, musician. How long have uh, you been wearing the armor? How long? Uh, 46 years. 46 years. Forty-six years. <laughs> Bahia was also featured in the 1995 Michael Jackson music video for They Don't Care About Us. The music video was directed by Spike Lee and was filmed in this very location on the streets of Pelerino. He collaborated with 200 members of the local cultural group Alodum, which provided the heavy drum beat. Michael Jackson was here. Brazil. Taiwan and Brazil. These lanterns, they put fire in them and then they go up into the sky. Much street life here. Oh my god. Look at this place. It's so colorful. Inside of the Museo de Gastronomica Brasileira. This is the dende oil that they use to make the moqueca, which is a traditional dish here. Ciao. Quieren o quieren? Sí, gracias. Limonau con coco. Do you want any? We're on the roof now and you can get this beautiful panoramic view of the city. Look at all the colors. Very beautiful. Mira a la Iglesia de Oro. Gold Church. right here is the Baroque church. So we went into the muse or the Iglesia de Oro and look at all these azulejos de Lisboa. Look at this in here. Look at this colonnade with all the blue tiles. So So this is the chapel and this is jacaranda wood and it's like indestructible. It doesn't Can't burn, burn it. Etc. So gold. And then we have an angel there. It looks like the angel has horns, but the angel actually has its wings in the back. Wings. <laughs> oh my god, this is insane. Look at all this gold. Siento que los ángeles están contando. I feel like the angels are singing. Now I can see why they call it Iglesia de Oro. It's literally filled with gold. Gold and angels. So Floor to ceiling, gold. Look at the altar. It's just shining. So it was made with gold and resin of the banana. Resin of the banana to make it shiny.
Mira las mujeres. So we are in Bahia. We're at a restaurant called Doya. I just got a queparinha. Queparinha. Still can't pronounce that right, but anyway, it's cachaça with lime. Are you enjoying this? Papa and Ponson Camarón. Perfecto. Gracias. Gracias. Around 72. Woo! So we have a little tamale here with some sauce and some salsa. And the sauce has kind of like a fish in it. Pescado. Very good. It kind of reminds me of fish hummus. So we have shrimps with the shell on. Mike, show us how it's done. You eat them with the shell, Greek style, baby. What's it called? Akarashe. Akarashe. <laughs> How is it? Yeah. So we have all of our side dishes here the rice, cassava, the plantanos. We have that delicious pescado sauce. Comes on moqueca. Oh! <laughs> Pescado y camarones. Gracias. We have the shrimps and we have bacalao. So this is made with a, a coconut sauce and I'm putting a little bit of the picante on top. Gotta to spice it up. Oh my god. It's so savory and you can taste the coconut. It's kind of like sour too. There's a little bit of lime. So good. So top it with some of the cassava flour. Mike, how is it? So good. Yes. BP, how is it? Everybody so the likes. The food that it most resembles is Thai food. It's so good. How about Creole? Kind of like Creole mixed with Thai curry because it's got the spice, it's got the fish, all stewed together with coconut sauce. It's time for yet another trip to the ice cream shop. So we just got more ice cream. This is called Umbo, U-M-B-O, the top one, and the bottom one is acai. And it's so good. I'm gonna try the Umbo. It's very sour. It kind of tastes like lime, actually. It's really good. The acai, oh my God, so good. Okay, so the acai, it's got kind of like a fruity, almost a berry flavor, and it's also kind of nutty at the same time. So this is the bottom part of the city. There's two levels. We Uber past the oceanfront just in time for sunset on our way back to our hotel. Hey 
guys, we're back at our hotel now. It's a Portuguese hotel called Vile Gale, and it's overlooking the coast right here. It's a little bit far from the historic center, but it's very peaceful right here. For dinner, we decide to head to the mall, which has many different restaurants. It's called Shopping Barra. Along the way, we pass by a store that caught us by surprise, a Walmart. We are in the mall in Bahia. We just got a Cyberry Bowls. And it's so nice, it's like six levels. Huge. We are in the mall and we found California coffee. Come complete with color cakes and donuts. So we are at the mall, this is in Bahia. And it's just, it's interesting to see what they have here. Oh, they have a side from California. Um, this is their department store. Lots of sports stores. So it's kind of cool and of course, popcorn. So we hope that you guys enjoyed this video of Bahia today. We toured the old town, we got a sense of the city, we checked out the food scene and the music. If you like this video, you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, share with your friends, and stay tuned because tomorrow we're hitting up beaches. Las Playas Hermosas.